Hey there, welcome back to African Insider. Today we have a fascinating topic to dive into. We'll be discussing the mega construction projects that were initiated by the late President John Magufuri in Tanzania. Many of these projects were massive in scale and held immense promise for the country's development. But what happened to them? Well, stick around as we uncover the story behind these ambitious undertakings. Before we delve into the details, let's take a moment to appreciate President Magufuri's vision. He was known for his dedication to transforming Tanzania's infrastructure and economy. During his tenure, he launched numerous projects aimed at improving the lives of Tanzanians. Now, let's shine a spotlight on some of the key projects. We are talking about the Standard Gauge Railway and the Stigra Gauge Hydroelectric Power, also known as the Julius Nyerere Hydropower Project, just to name a few. These were massive undertakings that promised to revolutionize transportation and power generation in Tanzania. The Bagamoyo Port, a proposed mega infrastructure project in Tanzania that has garnered significant attention due to its potential to become one of the largest and most strategically important ports in Africa. The project, which is supposed or predicted to cost 11 billion US dollar, is situated in Bagamoyo, which is a coastal town located about 75 kilometers north of Tanzania's largest city of Dar es Salaam. Once completed, this Bagamoyo port is expected to have a profound impact on Tanzania's economy. It will create jobs, stimulate economic growth, and enhance the country's capacity for international trade. So, how far is this project? Is it complete or is it ongoing? At the moment, the project is in a state of being stalled or stopped. Because what happened is that President Magufuri stopped this project and wanted to discuss and negotiate with the Chinese investors, including the financial terms and ownership structure. These negotiations and reassessment of this project's viability led to a period of uncertainty and delays. So the project never took off. The Tanzania Standard Gauge Railway, which is a major infrastructure project aimed at modernizing the country's railway network. The primary objective of the Tanzania SGR is to upgrade and expand the railway infrastructure to meet modern standards. The project is designed to replace the older narrow gauge railway system with a standard gauge which is wider and allows for faster and more efficient transportation of goods and passengers. The Tanzanian SGR project is planned to be implemented in several phases. The first phase, known as the Central Rhine, focuses on the stretch from Dar es Salaam, the largest city and major port in Tanzania, to Morogoro. This phase was expected to be around 300 km long. So far, it is complete. At the time of making this video, Tanzania has secured several coaches or trains that will be running from Dar es Salaam to Morogoro using electricity. Subsequent phases of the SGR were proposed to extend the network further into the interior of the country, ultimately connecting to the landlocked neighboring countries of Uganda, Rwanda, and Burundi. So what is the status of this project? Is it complete? Is it ongoing or is it stalled? At the moment, the subsequent phases are stalled because the Turkish firm that is the main contractor of constructing that railway faced financial constraints. And the Chinese, who are the major financier of this project, are not willing to continue financing this project beyond Morogoro. Another Magufuri mega project is the Dar es Salaam bus rapid system, also known as DART, which is a major public transportation project in Tanzania, specifically in the city of Dar es Salaam. DART 
is designed to address the growing traffic congestion and transportation challenges in the city by providing a modern and efficient mass transit system. So the system was designed or introduced to improve urban mobility and reduce traffic congestion in Dar es Salaam. The primary objective of DART was to provide a reliable and efficient public transportation system. So is the project complete, ongoing or stalled? So far, the project is complete. It is operational and there are dedicated bus lanes with modern buses and well-designed stations to offer a faster and more reliable mode of transport, uh, public transport compared to the traditional bus service. The system aims to provide a comfortable and convenient travel experience for passengers. It also offers several benefits to the residents of the restaurant, including reduced travel times decreased traffic congestion, improved air quality because these buses, the modern buses can easily be switched to electric buses since the system already exists. Another one of President Magufuri's mega construction project is the Julius Nyerere hydropower project, formerly known as the Rufiji hydropower project, sometimes People call it the Stigra Gorge Dam Hydropower. It is all the same. And this is a major infrastructure project in Tanzania aimed at harnessing the country's hydropower potential. By the way, it was Magufuri who renamed it from Rufiji Hydropower to Julius Nyerere. And you'll come to know why. So it is situated in the Rufiji River Basin in the Sirius Game Reserve one of Tanzania's UNESCO World Heritage Site. It is named after Julius Nyerere, who is Tanzania's first president and a prominent figure in the country's history. This project holds a significant importance for Tanzania's energy security and economic development. The primary objective of this project is to generate electricity through hydropower. It is expected to have a large capacity, potentially over 2,100 megawatts, once installed, making it one of the largest hydropower projects in Africa. So is it complete, is it ongoing, or is it stalled? At the moment, the project is ongoing, though at a slower pace, but it is ongoing because it involves the construction of a dam on the Rufiji River, which will create a reservoir, and this is a lake. And this reservoir will have to fill up, and the dam will hold back water during the rainy season, and release it during periods of high electricity demand, effectively acting as a massive energy storage system. This hydropower project was also part of the Tanzanian Standard Gauge Railway because the electricity from this project or this hydropower was supposed to be used to power electric, electric trains that would be using the SGR. 